God bless you. We will be reading 2 Kings 1, 2 Kings 3, 1 Kings chapter 22, verses 41 through 49, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verses 31 through 37, 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 50, 2 Chronicles chapter 21, verses 1 through 4, 2 Kings chapter 8, verses 16 through 22, and 2 Chronicles chapter 21, verses 5 through 7. I know it seems like we're jumping around a lot, but this is chronological order, and I think you guys have gathered by now that we're pretty much in this kind of sequence where we read one thing and then we're reading the same thing in another completely book, so it's keeping it chronological. So we read the word of the Lord, honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab, and Ahaziah fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria and was sick, and he sent messengers and said unto them, Go, inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king, the king of Samaria, and say unto them, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that ye go to inquire about Zebub, the God of Ekron? Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sendest to inquire a balance above the God of Ekron? Therefore thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you and told you these words? And they answered him, He was an hairy man and girt with a girdle of leather about his loins. And he said, It is Elijah the Tishbite. Then the king sent unto him a captain of fifty and with his fifty, and he went up to him, and behold, he sat on the top of an hill. And he spake unto him, Thou man of God, the king hath said, Come down. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven, and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven, and consumed him and his fifty. Again also he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his fifty, and he answered and said unto him, O man of God, Thus hath the king said, said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And he sent again a captain of the third fifty with his fifty. And the third captain of fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and burnt up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him unto the king. And he said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, for as much as thou hast sent messengers to inquire above above the God of Ekron, is it not because there is no God in Israel to inquire of his word? Therefore thou shalt not come down off that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. So he died according to the word of the Lord, which Elijah had spoken. And Jehoram reigned in his stead in the second year of Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, because he had no son. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaziah, which he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? Now Jehoram, the son of Ahab, began to reign over Israel and Samaria, the eighteenth year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, and reigned twelve years. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, but not like his father and like his mother. For he put away the image of Baal that his father had made. Nevertheless, he cleaved unto the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which made Israel to sin. He departed not therefrom. And Mesha, king of Moab, was a sheep master, and rendered unto the king of Israel a hundred thousand lambs and an hundred thousand rams with the wool. But it came to pass when Ahab was dead that the king of Moab rebelled against the king of Israel, and king Jehoram went out of Samaria at the same time and numbered all Israel. And he went and sent to Jehoshaphat the king of Judah, saying, The king of Moab hath rebelled against me. Wilt thou go with me against Moab to battle? And he said, I will go up. I am as thou art, my people as thy people, and my horses as thy horses. And he, he said, 
which way shall we go up? And he answered, The way through the wilderness of Edom. So the king of Israel went, and the king of Judah, and the king of Edom. And they fetched a compass of seven days' journey, and there was no water for the host and for the cattle that followed them. And the king of Israel said, Alas, that the Lord hath called these three thing kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord, that we may inquire of the Lord by him? And one of the king of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha the son of Shaphat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Get thee to, thy prof to the prophets of thy father and to the prophets of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord hath called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moab. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth before whom I stand, surely, were it not that I regard the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, I would not look toward thee, nor see thee. But now bring me a min minstrel. And it came to pass, when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him, and he said, Thus saith the Lord, Make this valley full of ditches. And for thus saith the Lord, Ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see rain. Yet that valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink, both ye and your cattle and your beasts. And this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabites also into your hand, and he shall smite every fenced city and every choice city, and shall fell every good tree, and stop all wells of water, and mar every good piece of land with stones. And it came to pass in the morning, when the meat offering was offered, that, behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled with water. And when all the Moabites heard that the kings were come up to fight against them, they gathered all that were able to put on armor and upward and stood in the border. And they rose up early in the morning, and the sun shone upon the water, and the Moabites saw the water on the other side as red as blood. And they said, This is blood. The kings are surely slain, and they have smitten one another. Now, therefore, Moab to the spoil. And when they came to the camp of Israel, the Israelites rose up and smote the Moabites, so that they fled before them. But they went forward, smiting the Moabites even in their country. And they beat down the cities, and on every good piece of land cast every man his stone, and filled it. And they stopped all the wells of water, and felled all the good trees. Only in Ker Hareseth left they the stones thereof, howbeit the slingers went about it and smote it. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him seven hundred men that drew swords to break through, even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. And he looked, took his eldest son that should have reigned in his stead and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall. And there was great indignation against Israel, and they departed from him and returned to their own land. First Kings. And Jehoshaphat, the son of Asa, began to reign over Judah in the fourth year of Ahab, king of Israel. Jehoshaphat was thirty and five years old when he began to reign. And he reigned twenty and five years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Azubah, the daughter of Shili. And he walked in all the ways of Asa, his father. He turned not aside from it, doing that which was right in the eyes of the Lord. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away, for the people offered and burnt incense yet in the high places. And Jehoshaphat made peace with the king of Israel. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat and his might that he shewed and how he warred, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? And the remnant of the Sodomites, which remained in the days of his father Asa, he took out of the land. There was then no king in Edom, a deputy was king. Jehoshaphat made ships of Tarshish to go to Ophir for gold, but they were not, for the ships were broken at Zion Geber. Then said Ahaziah, the son of Ahab, unto Jehoshaphat, Let my servants go with thy servants in the ships. But Jehoshaphat would not. Second Chronicles and Jehoshaphat reigned over Judah. He was thirty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and five years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Azubah, the daughter of Shilhi. And he walked in the way of Asa his father, and departed not from it, doing that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Howbeit the high places were not taken away, for as yet the people had not prepared their hearts unto the God of their fathers. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoshaphat, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Jehu, the son of Hananiah, who is mentioned in the book of the kings of Israel. And after this did Jehoshaphat king of Judah join himself with Ahaziah king of Israel, who did very wickedly. And he joined himself with him to make ships to go to Tarshish. And they made the ships in Ezion Geber. Then Eleazar the son of Dodava of Marashah prophesied against Jehoshaphat, saying, Because thou hast joined thyself with Ahaziah, this, the Lord hath broken thy works, and the ships were broken, that they were not able to go to Tarshish. 
first kings. And Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, his father, and Je Jehoram, his son, reigned in his stead. Second Chronicles. Now Jehoshaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of David, and Jehoram, his son, reigned in his stead. And he had brethren, the sons of Jehoshaphat, Azariah, and Jehiel, and Zechariah, and Azariah, and Micah, Michael, and Shephathiah. All these were the sons of Jehoshaphat, king of Israel, and their father gave them great gifts of silver and of gold and of precious things, with fenced cities in Judah, but the kingdom gave he to Je Jehoram, because he was the firstborn. Now when Jehoram was risen up to the kingdom of his father, he strengthened himself and slew all his brethren with the sword, and divers also of the princes of Israel. Second Kings. And in the fifth year of Jehoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, Jehoshaphat being then king of Sorry, guys, um, my camera just cut me off and said I didn't have more room for a recording. So I will continue again in 2 Kings 8, 16. And in the fifth year of Jehoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, Jehoshaphat being then king of Judah, Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, began to reign. Thirty and two years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, as did the house of Ahab, for the daughters of Ahab was his wife. And he did evil in the sight of the Lord, yet the Lord would not destroy Judah for David his servant's sake, as he promised him to give him all way a light and to his children. In his days of Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah and made a king over themselves. So Joram went over to Zair and all the chariots with him, and he rose by night and smote the Edomites, which compassed him about, and the captains of the chariots. And the people fled under their tents. Yet Edom revolted from under the hand of Judah unto this day, then Libna revolted at the same time. Second Chronicles, Jehoram was thirty and two years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eight years in Jerusalem. And he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, like as did the house of Ahab. For he had the daughter of Ahab to wife, and he wrought that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord. Howbeit the Lord would not destroy the house of David because of the covenant that he had made with David, and as he promised to give him a light to him and to his sons forever. And that's it for today, guys. God bless you.